Nick Diaz versus Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva versus Nick Diaz. My most anticipated fight of 2015. Didn't know what was going to happen. Did not know what in the world was going to happen. Going crazy. Hands sweaty. Anticipation building. <laughs> this is what you, what you pay your big bucks for. Watch round one of this fight and then rewatch it. Which I'm going to do. And I'm going to rewatch it and rewatch it. Round one of Anderson Silva versus Nick Diaz. <laughs> Guys, on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter at MMA Genius. I said, listen, Nick Diaz puts up his hands and says, come on, come on, bitch, come on, bitch. Anderson Silva puts up his hands and says, come on, come on. And he looks around in the crowd and he goes, come on, come on. This is the big show. Come on, come on. What in the hell is going to happen when you get those two guys together who are more <laughs> Anderson Silva is more of a counter striker right Diaz is always coming forward throwing insane amount of punches insane amount of punches I just want to get this out real quick listen you never know what the hell's going to happen in a fight you and there's a lot of morons out there you got to know you got to find out who to follow and who not to follow who li- who to listen to and who not to li- to listen to oh Nick Diaz is going to uh, uh, cardio Anderson oh Anderson is going to knock him out in the first round oh uh Nick Diaz is going to smother him with punches. You morons. Number one, you never know what's going to happen. And we saw that in this fight. This fight, this is yet another fight that you never know what the hell is going to happen. Okay, so just stop with the predictions. Anderson Silva comes out. Nick Diaz off the bat. Come on, come on. You want to get some? I don't know what he was saying. Uh, Joe Rogan was asked Anderson Silva, what was Nick Diaz saying to you in the first round? But Anderson's just gave a, like a PC answer. Guys, this is the big show and whatever. Um, but Ander- but when he did the post fight with Nick, Nick was saying that he was, come on, come get some. Come, come, get, some. <laughs> come get you some. Guys, Nick Diaz had his hands down, chin forward. And then there, at one point, he stood like a statue. And Anderson so- circled him. And it was so funny. <laughs> I was laughing and screaming my, the whole time. And then the funniest part, Nick Diaz just lays down like a wooden plank in the octagon. And he, and he goes, come on, come on. And then he lays down. I got to rewatch this first round a million times. Now, Anderson Silva, on the other hand, you guys know what his style is. Come on, come on. And he goats people in and then he counters i don't think he did any of that in the whole fight i think maybe one time and it was real quick um nick diaz what he was doing in the first round was so funny and then john mccarthy was saying come on don't do that he was saying something like don't do that go go and then nick diaz is like tell him he's not coming forward and he goes you gotta go attack him or you gotta go forward something like that you gotta engage and then, this is where it gets very odd. Second, third, fourth. You, you know, they they both land. Um, Anderson was was landing a lot more than Nick. And he busted Nick up and right below the eye, big time. He got a big cut. Um, Anderson wasn't doing his usual show-off. Yeah, basically, his show-off self. Nick Diaz, on the other hand, was not doing his usual a million punches a minute. Very odd. But, I mean, that's that's the way the fight game goes. It's just very, very odd. You never know what in the world is going to happen. Long story short, I just wanted to mostly talk about round one. That was so funny what happened in round one. Just to see somebody do that to Anderson, but like 10 times 10. It was insane. Anderson was just standing there. Unbelievable. The The fight went five rounds. The whole five rounds. Anderson won by unanimous decision. And Nick Diaz, in the post-fight interview, did not understand how he won because in Nick Diaz's eyes, he was pushing forward the whole time. And he goes, I know I'm busted up, but I mean, I was pushing forward and uh, the, the judges don't like me out here. Whatever, and this is the other thing. What's gonna, what's next for Anderson? We don't know. He said, "I don't know." What's next for Nick Diaz? He said, "I don't know." We don't know what in the world is next for them. I said on Twitter, 
we're going to find out a lot about Anderson Silva. It, is he going to rise up or are we going to see the fall of Anderson? And uh, the fight went five rounds. He looked fine, but he didn't look like a... He didn't. He wasn't his former self, put it that way, but that may be because he didn't want to be. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's just Manic Diaz. The, the, the style matchup is so... Literally, that's the reason why I skipped round two, three, four, and five of talking about them because it's very, it's not like them. You go and watch any other Nick Diaz fight, holy shit. He's coming forward, throwing a million punches, baby. Watch any single Anderson Silva fight. He's goading them in, counter striking, pinpoint accuracy, baby. None of that in this fight. Very few flashes of it here and there. Very odd. That's what I would consider this fight. Very odd. Now, my next and most anticipated fight, Jose, the undisputed champion, versus Connor. Holy smokes. And I want to say, and I already tweeted the UFC, I told them, in all caps, if Jose wins, we want to see him fight Pettis, finally, finally. And I also said, you guys want to make money? Make money. Like, for this fight, they made money. People wanted to see this fight. They made money. So thank you for putting on this fight. Turned out to be very odd. <laughs> but like I said, you never know what in the world is going to happen. B, B, but listen, bottom line is this. Watch the first round of this fight. And if you want, watch the very last round. Very odd. The whole fight, very odd. From the very beginning, Nick Diaz is so funny. Unbelievable. Thank you for watching.